Happy Thursday, and thanks for being with us on uh, this almost end of the week. Hope your week has gone well for you. We continue our discussions about the book of Ruth, and one of the themes of the book is who's on the inside and who's on the outside. Ruth is from Moab. She is a Moabitess, and because she is from the Moabite clan, she is an outsider. She is outside the promises to Abraham. She's outside the uh, clan of Israel and uh, the family ties and the religious obligations that keep Israel together. She's outside all of that. But Boaz makes the decision that because she was a faithful wife to Naomi's son, that she has been brought inside. You know, the whole story of Christianity, of our following of, of Jesus Christ, is people on the outside and who gets on the inside. And the way we believe you get on the inside is through the work of Jesus Christ. Just about everybody you meet in some way, some form or fashion, thinks they're on the outside and they're wanting to get on the inside of something. That may be the a group or a clique or a... Uh, friendship thing at school or the new office upstairs or whatever, but everybody's trying to get inside of something. And you are the gatekeeper. You know how to get inside, and it's through the sharing of the good news of Jesus Christ. It is hard being an outsider. It's hard knowing you don't fit. It's hard knowing you don't belong. And one of our basic instincts is this need to belong, to be part of a family, to be part of a group. The good news of the gospel is that the church recreates those family units, those family units that our world so many times breaks up. The church recreates, and it means every child, every man, every woman belongs in the family of God. That's what the story of Ruth is about, and Ruth is celebrated uh, supremely so, in Matthew chapter 1, being listed in the, in the genealogy of Jesus. So, a couple of questions for today. One, is it you who is on the outside? If you feel like you're on the outside, it's not God's will that you be on the outside. It's God's will that you be included in the family, and he created you un uniquely to be involved in relationship with him to be on the inside. I mean inside, inside. Not only just inside the group, but inside a relationship with God himself through Jesus Christ. Now, if you're on the inside, who is it that God wants you to reach to bring on the inside? If you're on the inside, who do you know is on the outside that you need to bring to the inside? That's a week's worth of work. But I'm going to give you 60 seconds to get started on it, and I'll see you tomorrow.